What's going on, YouTube? Can I start off the video by saying what is up with the year 2020? First, we have North Korea, South Korea attacking each other. And speaking of Korea, Kim Jong-un decides to rise up from the dead after three weeks. Where has that guy been? Everyone throwing around the office Asian surging guy meme. Also, Kobe passing away along with his daughter, currently in quarantine right now due to the coronavirus. And now this, swarms of murder hornets. Simpsons was right yet again anyways you're watching top 10 craziest facts about murder hornets let's jump right into it starting off with number 10 their size the murder hornet queen is rocking a whopping two inches long that's the same size as my well pinky to put in perspective a normal bee will range from 1 to 1.4 centimeters long that's three to four times bigger than a normal bee. That's crazy. I would be absolutely horrified to see one of those a-holes in person. Number nine. Since we're already talking about size and length, let's talk about girth. Just kidding. Let's talk about their stingers. Since we know the body of these things are enormous as it is, we can only assume the stinger is too. The stinger is measuring at a quarter of an inch. And if I'm doing my math right, that should be about half the size of a normal bee. Imagine that. Number eight, their intelligence. These are not your normal insects. These buggers are smart. I would not be surprised if these murder hornets have the same or even higher IQ than you at flat earth believers. Just playing. Murder hornets place a form of tracker on their target and release a scent that alerts the other hornets that this bee nest this target is the best one to attack. Working together with one goal in mind, they are able to take a whole nest in an hour and a half. Number seven, getting stung. Getting stung is never fun. You never hear anyone asking or begging to be stung by a bee. That's just, well, that's just weird. Even more with a murder hornet. Evidence with survivors say that it feels as if they were being stabbed by a hot metal. Hot metal, cold metal, I don't care. That shit is going to hurt. That reminds me of Brave Wilderness when he got stung by the murder hornet in one of his videos. God, I love that man. The beard and the ability to show how much pain he can take reminds me of how much of a sissy I really am. Number six, their nests. I guess you can technically categorize this in an intelligence section as we all know, the normal beehive is usually in the tree, but nope, not for the mortar hornets. These guys are so badass that they make their nest in the ground, which kind of sucks for us, because now mine's supposed to know that that's there. Imagine you're walking down or going hiking, and you accidentally step on one of these guys. Now you just pissed off a bunch of um, murder hornets, and you're having a bad day. Completely rude of them. Here's a lighter fact. We call this the bee defense. You see, the bees in America are still new to this. They don't know what's going on. They don't know who these hornets are, but the bees in Asia have experienced this for a while and they're sick and tired of it. They're sick and tired of the murder hornets bossing them around. So they developed the strategy to fight back. The, the bees play cool and wait for it, the murder hornet to make its way into the nest. And when the opportunity is right, they swarm the hornet and suffocate it. Moving at incredible speeds, they raise the temperature to 160 degrees, thus burning them along with suffocation. Number four, mysterious arrival. Here's the thing. We know they apparently originated from Asia, but how did they get to the rest of the world? I'm in the US. How did they get over here? A lot of people say that they came through containers to ships, but really, multiple times? Really? How do you guys think they came across? Let's take a time to pause, leave a comment below, and let me know what you guys' best theories are. Number three, hunting season. It doesn't take a smart person to realize that the whole murder hornet issue has recently gotten really big. And why is that? Because of the season. It's springtime, baby. Spring is the time they came out of the nest to stretch their wings, because in the wintertime is when they go back to hibernation chilling and not giving a care in the world kind of similar to me during this quarantine 
Number two, hard to kill. Along with being able to move super quick and being completely dangerous, these little guys are hard to kill. Why? Maybe because there's a whole bunch of them, but in Japan, locals are tried to kill them by means of fire, water, smoke, poison, and even welding. That's right, you heard me correctly, welding. And don't ask me who, because I don't know whose bright idea was trying to weld that in the first place. Thank you for sticking around for this long. Now the moment you have all been waiting for, number one, how they hunt. The mortar horns are aggressive and take what they want. Just like I mentioned before, the hornets will come in in swarms and attack the beehive, wiping out the hive in an hour to an hour and a half. Once they have taken the castle, they occupy the hive for about a week, stealing all the honey, eating all the babies, and decapitating all the bees. It's kind of messed up, but at the same time, pretty badass if you think about it. And that wraps up our top 10 craziest facts about murder hornets. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.